What was the point? What was the process? <clears throat> yeah. Well, I mean, it all started in mid-2020, the height of the insanity of COVID, height of the insanity of mobs burning down cities. And uh, there was this gigantic movement suddenly from world elites hosted at first by uh, the good folks over at Davos, World Economic Forum, yeah. Klaus Schwab, Prince Charles was heavily involved. And they rolled out this campaign for a great reset. So now's the time for a great reset to push the reset button on the entire global economy. And when you see stuff like that and you start reading the quotes from the people who were involved, head of the United Nations was there, head of all these big corporations were there, many American corporations, bankers, all of these powerful people saying, we got to reset capitalism. We got to move to a whole new model. You know, you can't help but be interested. What, what the heck are they talking about, yeah. right? And at first it seemed like maybe this is just just a rebranding of, you know, leftism or just socialism or just a convenient excuse to say, let's just roll out progressivism, the same old stuff. But the more we started looking into what these people were doing behind the scenes, the more we realized, whoa, there is a ton of stuff going on here. And it's like falling down the rabbit hole. It's just the more you look into it, the crazier it got. And you, what we realized was that over the past 10 to 20 years, there's been a plan that's been put into place over a long time with elites in government and in banking and in corporations and financial institutions on Wall Street to create a new kind of economy that gives them all of the power, that makes them filthy rich in the process, and that leaves us with virtually no choices and no property and no privacy. And that is the stated goal of yeah. the plan. And it's just, it's, it's, cr it's, Sometimes life, reality is crazier than fiction. And in this case, that's absolutely true. So I've been kind of watching, you know, when you look at the thing, the you know, this trend and move towards a digital currency, uh, the devaluation of the dollar, um, you know, there's nothing really backing or currency. Um, the fact that people are paying astronomical sums to buy up land, uh, you never really own your land, whether it's, you know, because of a property tax or something. I mean, every every state in the nation has a property tax. Some of them yep. are worse than others. You never, you're always renting, you know, your property. People really don't own anything anymore, and it's making it harder and harder to own things. Uh, and it's just making the powerful that much more powerful. And so, you know, in looking at this and listening to Glenn, you guys, what you did is you kind of found the right string to pull, and it just started unraveling. That's right. And, and what we see is, once again, I hate to admit it, Glenn being right about these things. <laughs> right. Um, and and you, you want to think, okay, it's another doomsday scenario. It's another end of the world. But you guys provide some solutions and some active things to do. Right. When you walk away from this book, are you pessimistic or optimistic? Well, I mean, I hope that you're both. <laughs> yeah. I, I, hope that what you, I hope you're pessimistic in the sense that if we do nothing – this really is going to become our, our world. It is transforming now. This isn't a proposal for the future, like the Green New Deal or something, although that is part of this. Yeah. It's, it, this is happening now. So we, if, if we don't do anything, they're going to continue transforming the entire global economy. You're not going to own property, literally. You're going to become a renter for everything in your life. You're not going to be able to say what you want on social media. That's already starting to happen. You're not going to be able to buy the books that you want in the future. You're not mm -hmm. going to be able to buy the products. You think you want to, you think you're going to be able to buy meat in 15 years? I right. don't think so. Right. At least not like you can now. Uh, not at the prices you are now, that's for sure. All of that is going to change if you don't stand up and do something.